Finally some tips for the Kingslender from the Harvestman. The Kingslender is a great utility module designed with two independent sections. The upper section is a slew limiter. The lower section is a three input mixer. Each section has their own tricks. You can use the Kingslender as a slew limiter, like an envelope generator, like some kind of wave shape or a ring modulator, to mix audio and CV signals, and mixing clocks and gates for some logic operation. Now let's look at the front panel to see what we got. The rise and fall knobs will curve the incoming signal. With no signal patch to the CVN, the attenuverter knob allows logarithmic, or exponential curve bending. The manual three-way switch will designate which parameter the CV will control. Switch in the up position will control the rise, switch in the down position will control the fall, switch in the middle position will control both rise and fall parameters. The first three jacks are inputs and the jack on the right is the output. Now the mix section. The ABC jacks are inputs and each one has its designated knob. The second knob is an attenuverter and the other two are regular attenuators. The first two inputs has a illuminated mute switches, now it's time to have some fun with those functions. Slew limiter. A simple sequence from the pressure points in the Kingslender's input. The output signal is sent to the 1 volt per octave of the Hertz donut mark 2. The Palavox modulator is used for tempo. The double and or mark 2 is also used for envelope and VCA. You can adjust the rise and fall of the slew until it almost completely attenuate the signal. If no cable is inserted in the CV input, the attenuverter will change the curve from logarithmic, linear and exponential. An LFO in the CVN to change the parameters. Switching between the unprocessed and slewed signals with the gate input. The gate input react very well at audio rate. Combining all those functions can give astonishing results for a simple slew limiter. Select different CV destination with the manual switch and change the frequency of the gate signal to explore the possibilities. Envelope Generator if you send a clock to the slew input, you can transform the signal into a useful envelope. Let's try it by sending the signal to the VCA section of the double and or mark II. The rise and fall knobs will work just like the attack and decay of an envelope generator. Too much amount of rise could attenuate completely the signal. Adjust the parameters carefully. The CV input and the destinations which will let you control the curve of the envelope.
cold-blooded wave shaper. Using all the King Slender's parameters to reshape an oscillator signal can give you crazy results. Both CV and gate inputs reacts very well at audio rate. Let's use different modulation sources to control the signal of the Dixie oscillator from IntelliGel. Guaranteed pleasure if you sequence both input and modulation source signal. Also you can use an oscilloscope, it will help you in your sound design. Mixing audio. The lower section of the King Slender will let you smoothly mix up three source signal. The illuminated switches will mute the corresponding signal. The amount of each input can be adjusted with the knobs. Since there's no indication on the panel, you'll have to remember that only the second knob is in a 10 uverter. Mixing CV You can process different CV signals. In this case, two different sequences were sent to the first two input, and the mixed signal is going to the 1 volt per octave of the Hertz tone at Mark II. Adjust the second input to 10 uverter to add or to subtract the signal. The illuminated switches will mute the corresponding signal.
Mixing clocks and gates. Because the second input can be inverted. Mixing clocks with the King Slender can give you a couple of simple logic possibilities. If a gate is sent to input B while its knob is completely closed, no other clocks or gate will be detected at the output. In short, each time an incoming signal is inverted, it will cancel any other signal running at the same time. Adjusting the knobs with different clock signals to explore different logic probabilities. The King's Lender is a good utility module to add in any modular system. All those functions compacted into only 8 HP and at reasonable price, it's hard not to want it. I deeply hope that this video was very helpful to you. For more information you may want to check on the Muff Wiggler forum, or on the Harvestman's webpage. And remember kids, a winner is you.